Hello everyone, it's Tana. Welcome back to the channel and another video for the rabbit hole designs. Today we're working with two items from the latest release, Clarence Good Egg and Hello Friend, both drawn by Dustin Pike. I think these images are super cute and I already have them all colored. I also brought in the Hip Hop Squad from last Easter from the rabbit hole designs because we're going to use the eggs on that stamp set. So if you look closely to the one I'm using now, he's holding on to the egg. So I'm just using a little bit of post-it tape to cover up his paws, and then I ink up the stamp, take the tape off, and stamp it. Just don't forget to remove your tape. I've done that. And then where there's empty spots on my egg, I'm just going to draw that in with a fine line permanent alcohol-friendly marker. So now I'm drawing designs on these eggs. I had a whole bunch already cut and colored, but I wanted some of the plain eggs too so I could draw a few eggs that looked like the ones that or the one that Clarence is painting on the image so I'm just gonna draw on a few of these here and then I will color them off screen and we will start to place our eggs actually really quick I forgot I showed some mirror stamping so I did do a mirror image of Clarence but I did not use him the main reason I did this was because I wanted some of the paint can that, were sit that was sitting next to him facing both directions. I also figured out the perfect height to do my mirror stamping in my Misty. So I used my solid hot foil paint pa plate from Pink Fresh Studios in there along with the two mats I've been using. And the first image stamped out the first time perfectly. So now I'm going to use a, a, uh, some chiffon ink inked up this panel here before I put the garden trellis stencil on it. I did put pixie spray on the stencil, but it's such a fine stencil that indelicate that I had to use magnets also. And then I went in with the Bellini and lightly went over the entire panel. And I thought that made a pretty background. And this right here, guys, is what happens when you can't find your press and seal. I looked everywhere. So I placed all my eggs, figured out where I wanted everything to go, and yeah, couldn't find the present seal. So then I had to kind of hold things in place as I pulled other eggs out to put glue on them, and then hold it in place while I slid the egg with the glue on it back in to where it was supposed to be. It was very tedious, and I will say I went out and bought some more present seal. I will never lose it again, even if I have to tie it around my neck. So here I'm just making a big pile of eggs. I did not use as many uh, paint cans as I thought I would, but there are some paint cans placed, placed in there. And Clarence will be on top, but he will be on a wobbler. So as you so boringly watch me place those eggs, <laughs> we're going to put the wobbler on. And as per usual, I can't remember which side of the wobbler attaches to the image and which one attaches to the card base. There's just cer certain things that my mind does not want to remember. I don't know what it is, guys. So I took a grass die, grass edge die from my stash, cut out a piece of grass out of my, I think it's actually a green basil. Is that how you say it? cardstock that I got from Joanne Fabrics and it was a scrap from Christmas cards and I stamped Happy Easter from that stamp set on there popped it up with some foam tape and put some Nouveau Deluxe adhesive on there and then we're going to try to place it so that there's no foam tape hanging off the sides because I did leave some space there but I also tried to make sure Happy Easter was centered into the middle of the card so we have just placed our panel onto our white card base and now I'm going to attach the wobbler to the card at the top of the pile and in the magic of editing it's already dried. I did add a little Nouveau Deluxe adhesive to that so it would stay on and he bounces really nice and onto the second card. So for this one we're going to use Hello Friend which is Clarence behind a flower which I would consider a daisy. Um, which this little tiny bee, which reminds me of a baby bee. I don't know why, because it's not like it's drawn to be a baby bee. 
but I consider it a baby bee. And anyway, <laughs> so I have two images colored. I wasn't sure which one I was going to go with. And I'm using the Build Your Garden stencil and a whole bunch of Catherine Puller inks to create my little garden at the bottom. So I start off by, I have to use my post-its to mask it off because there's tons of fun things to use on this stencil. Different ways for the stems to go, the leaves to go, different shapes of leaves, uh, leaves different sized flowers. So you just want to make sure you mask off other things that are close by so you don't accidentally get extra ink on your panel. So I went in each step. I used a different color green for each step of the flower, and the stem, the leaf, the other leaf. And then I went in with, for the flowers, Bellini, oh, I can't remember. I'm going to put them on the screen for you guys anyway, you know that. I did a couple big flowers, a couple small flowers. I know that I used cummerbund in the center of each flower. Could not go with traditional yellow, you know me. And then I very cleverly, I think, is that how you say it? Cleverly, when you're being clever. You know, I'm pretty good at spelling, but when it comes to, what would you call it? Alliteration? Using the words? Sometimes I screw up, so pardon me. I'm going to use a piece of one of the stems. I have it masked off here. And Catherine Pooler's martini. And I'm going to make grass. I didn't want to add a grass panel because I wanted this whole card to be flush for the most part because it's going to be a shaker. So I didn't want to add grass at the bottom. The only thing I wanted slightly sticking up from the card is the panel that I glued around the window for a frame and then Clarence himself. I didn't want to add grass down at the bottom because my stencil stenciled on flowers, I should say, looks so beautiful, I kind of think that a die-cut piece of grass would detract from it. And I really like the way the stem being used as grass turned out. I flipped it this way and that to make sure some of the blades of grass faced in different directions. I did an extra panel here with the Build Your Garden stencil. And that is beef, beef. Can't speak, guys. That's to go behind the shaker panel in the window and I cut it slightly larger than the window opening itself. And I can't remember the name of these long cut, long fawn die cuts or dies, but I will put it in the description box on my channel. Here I'm using a marker to just go around the edge of the window just in case any of the white shows through when I glue my frame to the front of the card, because I have had that happen. And I'm just going to use some Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive and carefully place that frame over the acetate window. Now I'm using some Heffy Doodle Double Height Foam Tape, which I'm almost out of. i got to get some more. I'm using the quarter inch for the top and sides of the panel. And then I'm just using the regular, I think it's half inch, to go down the rest of the panel. And I ended up stamping all three sentiments from Hello Friend. Be happy, Hello Friend, smile, and the ampersand. And that's because I'm going to use them all as one long sentiment. I also stamped them out on the same cardstock that I used for the frame. Because I wasn't sure if I was going to go with the white or the teal. And I did end up going with the teal, so I'm glad I did that. And I stamped those out with Bellini. Now I'm just going to glue this panel here to the card base and I have a mixture here of sequins and seed beads that I thought would go well with the colors on the front of the card and now I'm going to add some Nouveau Deluxe adhesive to my foam tape and for those of you who've asked this question of me yes if you don't see me peel off the backing from my foam tape it's already off sometimes I like to save you guys the dread of having to watch me do mundane things like peel the backing off of my foam tape. Now I'm going to place all my die cut sentiment strips very carefully and as straight as I can. So it will read, hello friend, be happy and smile. 
Now we're gonna go with the chosen image and put him in the kind of off to the right hand side in the bottom corner of the window. And that's it for the second card, guys. Hope you liked today's video. Don't forget to check out the rabbit hole designs on Instagram so you can see all the inspiration that the design team has throughout the month for each new release. And don't forget about the rabbit hole designs fan page on Facebook and also the rabbit hole designs email so you can be signed up to be aware of monthly new releases. And we'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye for now.